So I'll start with this drop area. If you watched my last episode, you would know how much I hated how it looked before. So I ended up changing it and I opened it up a bit more and I added some crates. I also replaced the floor with like a thin wood surface, um, similar to Mirage. And this will allow people to shoot through it if they know someone's beneath there. And I doubt this will get many kills, but it, you know, it might happen. So hopefully this works out fun. Next, I added some more crates around the map as well. So the players had a bit more options during gunfights. Um, and as of now, I pretty much just have some dev textures on it. Um, and this is just while I'm messing around. But I can always come back to it later um, and move it around, texture it. Um, so if this works for now, it's good. I've definitely stressed this a lot, but I'll mention it again, that when you're starting your map, functionality is the most important thing. And it's like way above the, uh, the importance of detail. So as long as, you know, like players will always be okay with developer textures. So don't be afraid to use them to begin with. I also got some of my friends to design their own graffitis that I could put around the map. Um, and I really love these, they look so cool. Um, and there'll definitely be more soon. When I spoke to them about their designs, Hunter said he put bullet holes on his because he always gets shot when he's playing Counter-Strike. Um, and Liam just said he has a bottle cap because he likes Pepsi. So yeah, don't look too deep into them for some crazy background lore or like in-depth meaning behind the map or me. They're just, yeah, they're just my friends. Gameplay wise, I felt that the terrorist team could push to apartments a bit too quickly. So I made this ramp that they had to kind of wrap around to navigate up. Uh, and when I was playing this, it made the terrorists take the lower route to A more often um, and just sent like one or two people apartments instead of their whole team. So this worked really well. Um, after that, I also added a little top above A long, pretty much just because I could. Uh, and then I played it with my friends. And while we were playing, I got a lot of feedback and to be honest, a lot of funny shit happened. So I'll just let you see those clips. Yeah, it must depend on like what frame you leave the other map. Wait, oh no, someone. Oh fuck. Guys, come back. That's a lot of fucking CTs. Liam's just like crying in the corner. Oh, you got me. Tagged him 49, he's, he's killable. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just teased him, dude. Oh, oh, no. I didn't even move. It's like, don't move on that. They can't reach me. Of course, the Zeus. That was your chance. That was your chance. You might have just missed it. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> Creepy. Creepy. Classic. Fucking covering me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Bro. The Instagram group. Fuck. I had two health. You got me. Do you think ah. that roof is still out of place? He's in the drop I feel like he shouldn't be able to go on that roof and look into at. Okay, so well, I, should, I could just raise that wall. Yeah, raise it up just a little bit. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> we should, guys. He's planting A. Ah! The oh fuck? My God. <laughs> Do it. <laughs>
you know, just lineups. From that gameplay, I had a few fixes to go through. So I raised the wall between the apartments and the roof, uh, as well as some graphical errors in apartments. And I added a couple more sprays around the map to help players navigate. In particular, I uh, put one pointing to the right along the rooftops when terrors spawn in because uh, a couple of my friends didn't even realize you could go that way, so that was important. I also put a piece of wood with a spray on it on the back of the car. This was a part because, like, I don't know, it shows there's a door there, but also just because I didn't like the clipping of the back of the car, um, and I thought this was an easy alternative to stop people from jumping on it. So yeah, that's, that, that's good. Next, I added some rooftops beneath T-Spawn, which explained the theme of the map much more. Uh, you know, kind of displayed like the verticality of the map. Um, you can't jump down there, there's a kill brush, so as soon as you get down there you die. And then after that, just to make the next time we test the map a bit more fun, I added a bunch of chickens on B-Site that walk around. Um, I have no clue how many I should have added, so this will do for now and I can always come back to it later. In terms of me making changes, um, this was a rather short episode, I didn't do much drastic. But I'm excited because I feel like it's pretty polished now. Uh, maybe after one more playtest, uh, and definitely in the next episode, I can start getting into the detailing of my map to a greater extent. And hopefully this should make this all come to life and look very real. Uh, the detailing might be a pretty long process, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys let me know how in-depth you want that to be. If you want me to show every little thing, or maybe just like groups of things, i really appreciate that feedback. Uh, and thank you so much for watching this video. It means a lot, and I hope you have a good night. See ya.